Hey guys, welcome back. This is the next part in my Hither Green video saga. Yesterday we learnt a 78 year old man was arrested for defending himself from intruders in his home. Let's jump straight into it shall we. Hither Green burglary death suspect to face no action. A man arrested on suspicion of murdering a suspected burglar has been released without charge. Richard Osborne Brooks discovered two intruders at his home in South Park Crescent, Hither Green, South East London on Wednesday. The 78 year old was arrested after Henry Vincent 37 from Kent was fatally stabbed during his, his struggle in the kitchen. The Met said Mr Osborne Brooks has been released and would face no action. Detective Chief Inspector Simon Harding said this is a tragic case for all those involved. As expected with any incident where someone has lost their life, my officers carried out a thorough investigation into the circumstances of the death. Police said they were called out about 12.45 British Standard Time to the property over reports of a burglary when they found Mr Vincent collapsed in nearby Further Green Road. A witness said an accomplice dragged Mr Vincent toward the van before leaving him for dead. A second suspect fled the scene and is still being hunted by the police. When we look at the law, it is all down to what is considered to be reasonable force when someone is defending their home. The law was clarified in 2013 to say that if it was a highly stressful situation and if someone was under a great deal of pressure, then it would not be against the law to act using reasonable force. It's always debatable what reasonable force actually is, but there was an assumption that if someone entered your house and if you were generally petrified and you did take some action, such as we had in this case, then that could be considered reasonable. Mr Osborne Brooks was held on suspicion of murder and released following a consultation between Scotland Yard and the Crown Prosecution Service. His arrest had provoked outcry from neighbours and an online fundraising campaign. Detective Chief Inspector Harding said while there might be various forms of debate about which process should be used in cases such as this, it was important that the resident was interviewed by officers under the appropriate legislation, not only for the integrity of our investigation but also so that his personal and legal rights were protected. In January, Mr Vincent was named and pitched by Kent Police investigating a distraction burglary on a man in his 70s. Family and friends pay tribute to him on social media. To me, it's great news that the old geezer isn't facing any negative consequences for defending himself, but it's an utter piss take that it was even a choice to begin with. No one should be arrested, never mind for murder, for defending themselves. I just want to go back to the part where the detective said it was about protecting the man's rights. If you really wanted to protect the man's rights, then you shouldn't have arrested him for using his right of self-defence. Just think about that, officer. Part 3, which will be out tomorrow, will make your blood boil. I know it did mine. Until then, please like, subscribe and share the video about. See you next time.